YouTube family, how are you? Well, anyways, I was, I've been thinking. My situation dictates that I'm just me, apparently. I told you I have a hard time getting into apartments. Oh well, it is what it is, I love it, I love life. There's, maybe I'm dictated to stay in a vehicle. Who knows? Anyways, have you ever made an, a, a uh, prediction? Have you ever thought that, hey, um, well, this is gonna happen to the US or whatever situation? Anyways, this is my prediction. And about a year from now, we're gonna be in lockdown. Not total lockdown, not martial law, but there's gonna be more lockdowns, more riots, more everything. And the world seems to be getting worse. Every time I look around on the internet, riots in the UK, riots in other countries. It's getting way out of hand, this vaccine. And by all means, I am not getting the vaccine. I am not getting the vaccine, that's for sure. I want to do everything in my power to help y'all understand the consequences of giving in to your government. Once you give in, almost all is lost. It's harder to get out of the turmoil, just like I'm in. Prime example, I make 4,200 flipping dollars a month and I cannot get an apartment. Yes, my credit score is around 530. Prejudging. What in tarnations is going on? I'm so sick and tired of it. I'm so sick and tired of being a broken record. I know that eventually an apartment will take me if I want one. Perhaps I'll get into a office warehouse. I have no idea at this point what the Lord wants for me. I know he wants the best. I do smoke cigarettes. And I'm done saying I'm gonna quit because I feel like this is what is allowing me to be less stressful. Yes, it's hazardous to my health. Yes, I should quit. Yes, 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 yes. I agree with you. <laughs> I really do. I'm just sick and tired of it. Have you also wondered, like going back to the predictions, I predicted so many things happening before they did. And of course I'm gonna tell my family, be like, hey, prepare for this. I think this is gonna happen. Coronavirus outbreak. One country, another country, another country. Every th everyone thought I was BSing. Excuse me. One thing I don't do is spread lies intentionally. One thing I don't do is steal. One thing I don't do is drugs other than cigarettes. While I'm in this awesome truck of mine, thank you, Lord. I don't drink. There's no point in drinking. No alcohol consumption. Now, if I go and happen to stay at my brother's house or happen to be able to be allowed at my grandparents' house, then yes, I will have a beer or two or three or five, depending on how long I'm gonna stay there for. And after so long, I'll drink water. I'll drink milk. I'll drink some other liquid other, other than alcohol. I'm just tired of being and sounding like a broken record. I'm just tired of life kicking me from behind. I feel like I'm getting low shotted below the belt. 
I do wear a belt, so, <laughs> you know? I, I'm just bored. I'd rather do this than go play a scratcher. I'm not gonna release this video for a couple days. I don't even know what to name this video. All I know is I wanna keep it raw. And I am panhandling still. Uh, I'd be out there right now, but a couple people took the spot. I'm like, okay. Does that mean I have to get out there earlier and just hog it all day? It is getting closer to Christmas and I actually do need the money. In fact, I made almost $20 today. Just in an hour, two hours or something like that. I forget how long. It got chilly, so I just left. Could have stayed out there longer. Still got like 12 bucks left. In fact, I still have some change, some ones in uh, my right pocket. So more like 15, so if I need to put gas, I got it. I'm at the Love's truck stop. And they go ahead and go play on June Bagendahl. In fact, I need to give him a shout out. Uh, He's an awesome Christian. He's, I believe, from China, I think. And, you know, I love all types of people. I do. I'm not even trying to drag this video on for as long as possible. I'll, I'll, I'll end it soon, I promise. I feel at home at Love's Truck Stop. I I really don't understand why, but then I think about it, and is it because of my Army experience? I'm used to being around trucks. I, I'm used to being around big trucks. I mean, big trucks, M-wraps, uh, semis. Uh, I've hauled tanks. Um, I've hauled fuel, I've hauled explosives. I've gotten into special forces compounds. In fact, one of these uh, times I need to give it a story. I do, I do. Um, so I guess one of these videos is gonna be about Iraq, one of my experiences. And y'all take care, have fun, stay safe, stay inspired, be you, most of all. And I need a haircut, I think. I'm getting all raggedy looking, you know? I look good though, overall. Tuffy, do I look good? Tuffy don't care right now, but that's okay.